Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're peeling back the layers of a recurring narrative between two prominent figures in the royal spotlight, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. Recent events have once again stirred the pot, with accusations flying about overshadowing and spotlight stealing. What's really at the heart of these allegations? Is it just a blame game, or are there deeper concerns at play? If you're ready to dive deeper into the royal dynamics, keep watching. Recently, Kate Middleton's fans have pointed fingers at Meghan Markle. But what's really going on here? Let's delve into the details. The incident in question revolves around a social media post by Nacho, a known associate of Meghan. He shared content promoting Meghan's sustainable project, American Riviera Orchards. Coincidentally, this post surfaced during a significant public appearance by Kate Middleton, leading some of Kate's fans to claim that Meghan's circle was attempting to steal the spotlight. This isn't the first time Meghan has been accused of such tactics. Over the years, there have been numerous instances where Meghan's actions, or those of her friends, have been interpreted as overshadowing or competing with the Cambridges. But is there a pattern here, or are these isolated events blown out of proportion? To understand this we need to look at the broader context. The royal family, with its centuries-old traditions and protocols, is often seen through a lens of rivalry and competition, especially among the women. Media narratives frequently pit Kate against Meghan, crafting a storyline ripe with conflict and drama. This framing can influence public perception, making every action and every post appear as a calculated move in a grand chess game of royal one-upmanship. Furthermore, both duchesses have their own agendas and commitments. Meghan's focus on sustainable projects and social justice is well documented. Their initiatives often overlap in timing due to the nature of their work schedules, not because of a deliberate attempt to overshadow each other. So, when fans react to a social media post by claiming it's an attempt to steal the limelight, it's essential to question whether this response is a reflection of genuine concern for Kate's visibility, or if it's merely the continuation of a habitual blame game. Is this an isolated incident, or part of a larger pattern? Let's explore further. How does the media contribute to the narrative surrounding Kate and Meghan? When we delve into the world of royal reporting, it becomes evident that the media often plays a chess game with public perception. Different media outlets have their unique angles and biases, which can significantly shape how figures like Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle are viewed by the public. For instance, some traditional media sources might portray Kate as the epitome of royal grace, emphasizing her charity work and her role as a mother. In contrast, the same outlets might depict Meghan with a slightly different brush, focusing on her Hollywood roots and perceived disruptions within royal protocols. This dichotomy isn't just a matter of different personalities or roles, but is often a product of the media's narrative construction. Furthermore, the timing and tone of media coverage can also sway public opinion. Sensational headlines and articles often emerge precisely when one duchess has a major public engagement or initiative. For instance, a headline might scream scandal or conflict involving Meghan at a time when Kate is in the news. This can divert public attention and create a competitive atmosphere that may not even exist. The motives behind such media strategies can be multifaceted. On one level, sensationalism sells. Media outlets are businesses that thrive on high readership and viewership numbers, which sensational stories tend to provide. On another level, perpetuating a narrative of rivalry and drama between Kate and Meghan can serve to engage audiences in a continuous storyline, much like a soap opera. This kind of media portrayal not only affects how we see these members of the royal family, but also influences their personal lives and how they are treated by the public. The pressure and scrutiny driven by media narratives can be immense, shaping not just public perception, but actual interactions and policies within the royal circles. With the media playing such a pivotal role, it's crucial to question what we read and hear. Beyond the media, how do public perceptions of Kate and Meghan differ? When exploring the public's view of Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, it's evident that societal expectations and personal biases heavily influence these perceptions. Meghan Markle, with her more modern approach and outspoken nature, represents a break from traditional royal expectations. Her advocacy for social justice and her American background bring a fresh, albeit sometimes controversial, perspective to the royal narrative. This contrast can sometimes lead to unfair comparisons, where Meghan's actions are scrutinized through a more critical lens than those of her royal counterpart. 
Higgins' role, however, was perceived as that of an outsider trying to carve out a new path within an age-old institution, which sometimes led to her being seen as a disruptor. These differing roles have sparked a range of reactions from the public. Some applaud Meghan for her bravery and fresh ideas, while others view her actions as inappropriate for someone in her position. By comparing and contrasting these two figures, it becomes clear that the public often holds them to different standards, influenced by personal biases and societal norms. The ongoing narrative of competition and blame between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle isn't just tabloid fodder, it seeps into their very roles as members of the royal family. The royal duties, intended to be performed with grace and poise, often become overshadowed by the media's relentless spotlight on their supposed rivalry. This can lead to a scenario where the impact of their work is diluted by the public's obsession with their personal dynamics. Moreover, the pressure to constantly present a flawless front can be immense. Such a scenario is hardly conducive to a supportive environment, which is essential when carrying out duties that demand cooperation and unity. It's crucial to remember that behind the titles and the glamorous appearances, they are individuals who are striving to make a positive impact in their roles. Their true success should be measured not by how they outshine each other, but by the real change they manage to affect through when we learn from this ongoing situation. As we reflect upon the dynamics between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, it becomes evident that there is much to be gained from shifting our perspective. Instead of feeding into a narrative of competition and conflict, we could cultivate a narrative of support and empowerment. Meghan has actively worked towards women's rights and social justice. Their efforts, albeit in different arenas, underscore a shared commitment to bettering the world. Imagine a scenario where the media amplifies these positive impacts instead of contriving rivalries. Where discussions in the public sphere are not about who outshines whom, it's about time we shift the focus from rivalry to respect and support. Thank you for joining us today to explore this intriguing topic. We've delved into the complexities of the narrative that often pits Kate Middleton against Meghan Markle, uncovering the media's significant role and the public's perception, reflecting on how these dynamics affect royal duties and public figures. We are committed to bringing you thoughtful and engaging content that goes beyond the surface. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Stay tuned for more enlightening discussions.